In today's tutorial, we'll explore the steps to easily create and customize a pre-designed FAQ section. By the end of this video, you'll have the skills to craft your FAQ section fit to your needs. So let's begin. We've got a template as our starting point. And this page is all about what we grow. We offer a list of our crops, but we also want to provide extra details here. To do that, we'll use an interactive FAQ. With the div hunt, you can add FAQs just in a few clicks. The first step will be to go to the settings of our project, then go to the browse plugins and you need to install a plugin called Accordions. After you install it, you can just go back to the builder and start working on a structure. As I mentioned it before, you can add FAQs in a div hunt just in a few clicks. And how to do that? You just need to go here to the elements and into the blocks panel, you will notice Accordions. You just need to click and drag it into your structure and you have your FAQs right into your project. Let's go to the live site to see how does this works. You will notice that when I'm clicking it works perfectly, but this design is a little bit too simple and in this video I'll show you how can you edit these accordions and how can you add some awesome features here. Now let's go back to the builder and let's go through the structure first. Firstly, you will have this accordions div that's wrapping everything. Also, important to mention, this div here is the tag that we have our transform option set to. Now, right inside of the accordions div, you have accordion div. These are the actual FAQs that we have and through this here, you can control how many FAQs you have. You can either control it like it's set to the default by the loop option or you can just copy paste these accordions but it's way easier with a loop. Next one in the structure is top. This is basically what you see without interacting with your FAQ. Or in my example, that will be this H3, which will be the question to my FAQ. The next one is the bottom div. This is the content that you will be seeing when you interact with FAQ. Or in my example, it's this simple paragraph here, which will be the answer to my question in this FAQ. Before we start adding some styles and additional options to our accordions, let's select this accordion, go to the settings and remove this transform option. I've did this so I can see all of my texts here so I can easily edit them. After I've changed all of my content here, I can just go and select my accordion div and go back and set transform option to accordions. Now all of my accordions will work properly. but. You'll notice that there is one accordion that I haven't changed text. That's because for this example I'll only need four accordions. So when I go here and change this loop item to four, you will notice that one of them disappeared. Before we start adding some additional settings to our accordions, let's firstly change some styles. You can notice that this H3 is way too big, so let's select it and let's change its font size. Let's set something like uh, 22 pixels and 23 will be perfect fitting for my needs. Now, let's go and add some spacing here because our paragraph is sticked to our heading. We can easily do that by selecting our top div and then going here and adding bottom margin. And this already looks a way better. Now, after we edited this, let's see what additional options we have in our accordions. Let's select our accordion div, then go to the settings and open this transform options here. First field is opened. With this, you can control which FAQ here will be opened by the default. As you can see, I have value of one here. That means my first accordion will be opened. If I set three, for example, my third accordion will be opened and you can play with these numbers here. Let's put it back to one and let's go to the next property. Here, you can control the duration of how quickly you want your animation to be executed in milliseconds. And the last option is single mode. To explain you how this works, let's go back to the live site and you'll notice that when I try to open my second accordion, for example, my first one will be closed. And when I try to open, let's go with this one, my previously opened one will close. If you want to prevent this and you want to open multiple in the same time, you can just go here and turn off single mode. Now, when I again go to the live site, you will notice that I can open the multiple FAQs in the same times. I can even open all of them if I want to. Now, let me show you some interesting stuffs that you can do with the accordions. For this example, I'll play with the structure a little bit. 
let's in this top div add one image. And one quick advice here. When you want to change your image into the all of your looped items to be the same image, the best way is to set your looped items to one, then go and change your icon or image, then go back and loop again your items. You will notice that all of my texts are intact, but all of my images are changed. If I changed my image while my items were looped, only my first image will be changed, so I will need to go from item to item and manually change all of those images, and that will take a lot of time. Now, to go back to our structure, let's set flex here so we can center it and put this plus to be on the right side. And now comes the interesting part. I want this plus to turn into the X when my FAQ is opened, and when my FAQ is closed, I again want it to be the plus icon. In Div Hunt, I can achieve this pretty easily. Firstly, I'll need to select my accordion here, then I will need to go to the selectors. Here, I will need to set the active state, and you will notice this DH active class. This basically means this tag will get this class when my accordion is opened or when it is active. And through this class, I can easily edit any tags or styles here while my accordion is opened. Now, I want to edit this small image here, because that is my plus icon. So let's go here and select image from this dropdown. When I select it, you will again notice that my selectors have changed. Now you can see DH active and then image. That means that when my accordions get the class of DH active, or in the other words, when they are opened, I can control all the images inside of it. And what I want to happen with this image? Well, I want to rotate it 45 degrees so it looks like an X. So let's set this transform option to be rotate and value of 45 degrees. You will notice that my plus icon has been rotated for the 45 degrees and now it looks like an X, but only my first item here because that's the only item that's been opened here. Now, let's select this image and go and set transition to it, because we want this animation to be smooth. Let's set this easing to be ease and duration will be 200 milliseconds. Now, let's go to the website to see what we achieved. When I go and open my second FAQ, you will notice this animation here. You will notice that this image is rotating for the 45 degrees and it's making this X symbol. Because we set that transition property, this animation is working smoothly. And that is how can you make FAQ section in a div hunt. Of course, you can use this accordions plugin to make some other things like drop downs or some menus. You don't always have to stick with FAQs. I hope that you found this video helpful and I'll be seeing you in another one.